Okay. So there's like simple ways to create a vector and advanced ways to create a vector. In this class, we focus on the simple ways of creating a vector because it's a beginner course. Let me go here. There's no test case for this. I'll go here and then we can overwrite this and then commit it. Okay, so that's one way. So that's one way of creating a vector. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so uh, no brainer there. You can create an empty vector, number one, and then you can start adding values to the vector. The common or the recommended function is pushback, right? So we can push back to the vector. So that's pushback, pushback. So that's one way. And then another way is vector. Let me think here. Is it anums two? Uh, Let me double check the syntax. I'm not sure if it's curly brace or parentheses, so that's what I'm checking here. Let me go back here. solution there. Hold on, let me check on the other repository. Or is it okay? See it. Okay. So I wasn't sure if it was parentheses or curly brace, but it is curly brace. So we can say like uh, create. Uh, let me double check that. Okay, let me create a string, right? So we'll go include str 
string and then we use use in string and here we'll say create a vector of strings so we want to create maybe like nine of some string and then we can loop so we can say for auto i equals zero i less than maybe we say strings right strings add index i oops string dot size i plus plus and then we can <coughs> display cr str add index something right so Okay, so, and maybe let's go ahead and do a C out here. New line, new line. And we can do a for range here. For auto num in nums1. Loop through and display num, right? So C out num. And let's run it. Clear this piece here. Run in terminal. And we have 250, right? So uh, let me see. Uh, this is 2. Maybe we need backslash n to avoid confusion. And we run it again. So run it again. Run in terminal. So here we just want to display index one, so display value two, and then display the two pushbacks five and zero. So this list now consists of values five and zero. Loop through it, display it, and then we create a string of vectors here, meaning create nine x's, and then we just loop through them and notice the vector does have a list of nine x's. So there's there's other ways of creating vectors, but those uh, require like knowledge of the standard library for advanced functions. We don't get to those in this class. This class is will only get intermediate or maybe a little bit beyond intermediate as far as difficulty goes in programming. So, questions here? No questions so far? Okay, let me stop here.